uh, Bengaluru. This is a place where we'll see its lakes, parks and gardens. Today we are at the Hesaragatta Lake here in Bengaluru rural. Well, at the Hesaragatta area where the lake bed and grasslands lie. Now today I'm going to give myself a challenge here at the Hesaragatta Lake. Like, can I find 20 species of birds within an hour? Then we do, uh, we'll do it another time for animals. Any animals that we find and won't count, only birds. Okay, so let's embark ourselves on the challenge. And in those 20 species, is I have two main targets as well. Those are the Indian peafowl and the blue-tailed bee-eater. So let's begin. Our first bird that we saw was an Indian grey hornbill right on a tree. It was an amazing first thing. Our next bird that we saw was a Brahmini kite sitting right on a pole. Our next bird our next bird was a new one called the Eurasian coot. It was swimming in the water. Our bird number four was a red whiskered bulbul sitting on a tree. It was an amazing sight to see. Our next bird was a little cormorant, which was again on a pole. You have become so used to this now seeing it so often. Our next bird was an Indian silver bill sitting on a sitting on a leaf if of a banyan tree. It was amazing to see as well because I've never seen the Indian silver bill before. Bird number seven was a spot billed pelican, which was which was again swimming on the water, wings wide open. It was a lovely sight to see. Ah, uh, this one might be the best of the whole trip. Two peacocks showing their good ship display. It was a lovely, lovely, lovely sight to see because peacocks are my favorite bird. And then as a number nine, we saw a glossy ibis flying above the water as gracefully as it can get. Number 10 was a common kingfisher, which was there right in the middle of the water which was again looking for its food it was again a wonderful sight to see oh oh got him whoa whoa that's a nice frog oh it's called our our good ramen ramella ramella frog whoa come let's get a few shots of it yes uh, unfortunately this doesn't count as any creature uh, anything countable but still a quite a good find yeah there it is right there brilliant oops oh, he wants to run away wow look at the stripes on the back brilliant okay buddy gotta go uh, mm. we'll let you go back bye yeah, because ah, so nice. Something that I did not expect to see was a Brahmini kite catching and eating a fish. But until a peregrine falcon swooped in and took and stole away that fish and went back to its own nest. Something that took me really by surprise. I saw a spotted owlet it on a tree. A lovely sight to see as a bird number 12. Our bird number 13 was a spotted dove which was walking along the floor. As number 14 on the list, there was the spot bill duck which was swimming, sorry not swimming, which was standing on a grass us pad in the middle of the water. It was an amazing sight to see. This time was an another lifer for me. Uh, a blue tail bee eater 
on a on, on a beehive try to make it fall into the floor so uh, fall into the lake so that it can swoop it up in the end it in fact had reached its goal standing and wading through the water was a painted stork or only the second time seeing a painted stork after ranganath hit two bird sanctuary another wonder uh, another lovely 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 sight to see our 17th bird was a parakeet which was flying not so high above the water's surface well guys we have reached 17 birds and now our goal should be inevitable almost we have only done 49 minutes of the journey here so far well we have 11 minutes three birds we need to up the ante a little bit Our 18th bird was a sarus crane in the middle of the water. Another lovely lovely sight to see. Again, again I've seen a sarus crane before but not this close. Another new one for me was the Eurasian spoonbill. It was walking along along it was wading along the water I should say. It was a lovely sight to see. And the biggest lifer the goal reacher number 20 the cattle egret on a cattle it was uh, since it was i since i reached my goal it was one of the best sightings of of my trip to hesara ghatta well hope you enjoyed this visit to hesara ghatta lake it was unbelievable that we managed to get to our goal it was just too good that we managed to get to our goal i I'm very feeling very proud about it, and also our two target species came within those twenty. So, oh, I'm a bee, and I and goodbye, and a very nice pleasure to say, have a nice day.